Hi guys, welcome to GoFrice YouTube channel and in this episode, we have the AMD Ryzen 3 processor. Yes, the Ryzen 3 processor that we've all been waiting for and in this clip, I have two Ryzen processors which is the 1200 and the 1300X. So let's have a look at these two processors right after this. Welcome back. So first up, let's talk about the pricing. The Ryzen 3 1200 retails at RM519, while the Ryzen 3 1300X retails at RM599. Good stuff, eh? Now, next thing I'm going to talk about the specs. The 1200 is, has a base clock of 3.1GHz and a boost clock of 3.4GHz with a bit of XFR at about 50 megahertz. So that's what the, the reading you'll see. So when it's um, on base clock, you will see 3.1. And when it goes to boost, you will see a 3.45 gigahertz reading on like say software like CPU-Z. Now for the 1300X, for example, it has a lot more XFR. So that's the advantage you have over for this uh, paying more for the 1300X. The base clock of the 1300X is 3.5 GHz but with the XFR, you see the reading at 3.6 GHz and the boost clock is uh, 3.7 GHz and with the XFR kicking in, you see it at 3.9 GHz. Now, next thing I'm going to talk about is overclocking. Now, both of these card, uh, cards, I said card, no, <laughs> these are processors and these processors are amazing when it comes to overclocking. They, for example, I'm most impressed by the 1200 because I could get it to 3.8 gigahertz and the voltage I use on it, I, I was shocked to see that I could run it stable at 1.2 V-Core. Yes, I could even run it at 1.175 like that, but it's a little unstable. I, I got to uh, a good stable 3.8 gigahertz with one, as low as 1.2 V-Core. I could run the 15 minute uh, real bench test. It's all good. While the 1300X on the other hand, uh, I could do similar, but uh, it goes a little higher. I can go uh, 3.9 gigahertz stable, and but the V-Core goes to about 1.3. Overall, great stuff. And even the stock cooler is able to cool, um, cool them just nicely. I mean, it, the stock cooler isn't even screaming. They run cool and quiet. The temperatures are very manageable and you get a lot of speed, boot, uh, speed boost, especially on the 1200. You're going from 3.1 gigahertz to 3.8 gigahertz. That's a lot. Now, uh, let's have a look at the performance charts. And I have compared it to the Core i3-7100 and the Core i5-7400. Well, I must uh, state it that I do not have these processors, but I do have a 7, uh, this is a Core i7-7700, of which you are able to dis disable the core or hyper-threading. So I simulated the Core i3-7100 by running two cores, four threads at 3.9 GHz, while the i5-7400 at four cores, four threads, 3 GHz. So here it is, the comparisons. Now for those of you who have uh, concerns over gaming, rest assured I test it with the GTX 1080 Mini. There is no problem with it. The benchmarks look identical whether it's 3.1 GHz or 3.8 GHz. And I've played games like Overwatch and StarCraft on the Ryzen 3 system. No problems whatsoever. Preparing a research vessel. And once again, the setback of an AMD Ryzen setup, whether it's 3, 5, or 7, is that it lacks an onboard graphics system. 
which is not an issue if you already intend to put a graphics uh, card on your system but it is an issue if you intend to keep the cost low but that aside on a personal note i am so happy to be uh, um, trying out and experience this uh, the ryzen 3 processors it brings me back to the good old um, to that feeling i had in the good old days when we get to overclock uh, even the medium low range uh, processors and you know intel had this uh, pentium g3258 or something like that uh, yeah well i had that model the 3258 it was a pentium two cores two threads overclocking it was fun but it doesn't justify the your effort putting into it um it draws a lot of power it's hot you need a custom cooler and there's a third party cooler and even with all these things packed into it it still does not perform as good as an intel core i3 and that was a, a, a fourth generation intel core i3 which is a 4130 that i had yep the 4130 on stop still outperforms the 3258 so what i'm very impressed about this the Ryzen 3, especially the uh, this uh, 1200, is that it costs only RM 519, and it's so overclockable. And even the stock cooler works is fine. You, there's no need to go for uh, custom cooler. Uh, then then this um, the power draw increase isn't that much. Uh, that explains why this um, the heat level is low. So there it is. Um, good job AMD. And if you're watching this video, I can tell you that. I have no intention to return you with this uh, Ryzen 3 processors. I do intend to adopt them. Please contact me. I really, I'm, I really don't do not feel like returning um, these uh, processors to you guys. So, all right, that's it for this video. As for the rest of you who are watching, thank you for your time. And um, if you have any questions regarding this uh, AMD's Ryzen 3 or even the other processors like the Ryzen 5 and 7s. Do leave your questions down below in the comment section and I'll see um, how I can help you over your um, thoughts, concerns and whatever else. Alright, I'll catch you in my upcoming videos. See you!